In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to restore all of your apps, files, settings, and everything else on your Chromebook after you've power washed it. In two previous videos, Timmy shows you how to back up everything on your Chromebook before you power wash it, and then how to actually power wash it. But now, after you've power washed your Chromebook, whether you want to restore everything on the Chromebook you just power washed, or you're selling that Chromebook and you want to restore everything on a new Chromebook, this is how it's done. After you power wash a Chromebook, when it turns back on, it will be just like a new Chromebook. So whether this is a new Chromebook or a power wash Chromebook, you'll now be looking at this screen that says, welcome to your Chromebook. And you'll just need to click the get started button to begin setting it up. And the first thing you'll need to do when you're setting it up is connect it to Wi-Fi. So you'll just need to choose your Wi-Fi network from the list and then type in your password and click connect. And then once you connect your Chromebook to Wi-Fi, it will begin checking for software updates because a brand new Chromebook would need to do some software updates. But if you've just power washed this Chromebook a few minutes ago, you won't have any updates to do. So once it's finished checking for updates, it will now ask you who's using this Chromebook and you'll probably leave it set to you and click next. And now you'll need to sign in with your Google account. And you want to make sure you sign in with the same Google account that you were using before. That way all your synced settings and everything will sync across. So go ahead and type in your Google account email address here and click next or press the enter key on your keyboard, and then go ahead and type in your password in the next box, and then click next again. And now, if you have two-step verification on your Google account, you will just need to grab your phone and verify that, or do whatever you do when you normally log into your Google account, and then you'll proceed to the next step, which is review the terms and conditions, so you can read all these if you want, but basically if you don't click accept, you can't really use your Chromebook. So you'll just need to click accept and continue. And it will give you some sync options, but you wanna leave all of these options as they are because otherwise some of your data won't sync across. So just leave everything like that and go ahead and click accept and continue again. And now it will give you the option to choose a pin. And Timmy would recommend choosing a pin because that way, every time you log into your Chromebook, you can just type a six digit pin, which can often be a bit easier than typing in your Google password, but it's up to you. If you don't wanna do it, you can click skip, or if you wanna set a pin, you can just type the pin you want to set and click next and type it again to confirm and click next. Whatever you set and whatever you decide, you can always change it later in settings, so it really doesn't matter too much. And now you can click done. And these next few screens will all be about the Google Assistant, but if you're watching this video, you've probably had a Chromebook before, so all of this is probably already set up in your account. So you really just need to click agree and agree and there might be another button to press, but it'll pretty much just be like that. As you can see, voice match is ready, so we don't have to do anything for that. And now there are three different theme options. And to me actually has a whole nother video about the different light and dark themes in Chrome. So you can go and watch that if you want to, but if you already know what theme you prefer to use, light, dark, or auto, you can just select that now and click next. And now you're basically done. So if you click get started, you will now be into your Chromebook. And now everything that was sunk to your Google account will begin downloading and setting itself up here. And you'll pretty much be able to use your Chromebook just like you normally would. But 
If you want to have all of your apps and files and everything back to normal, there are a few more things you need to do. As you probably see, Google Chrome will open up like this, and there'll be a few welcome pages from your Chrome extensions. So some of them, like this full page screenshot, will just sort of tell you welcome to the extension, which is kind of pointless because you've already used it before if you had it installed on your account before. So you can close ones like that. But any extension that you need to sign into will open a page somewhat like this, asking you to sign in. So if you have any extensions installed that you need to sign into, you just need to go through all these tabs now and sign into each one of them with your account to get them all working again. And any Android apps you had installed on your Chromebook in the past will start to automatically install now. So if you click on this to bring up the notifications here, you should see a notification with the progress of the apps installing. But as you can see, it's already finished here. So it says setup complete and it's installed six out of six apps. But if you had a lot of Android apps that needed to be reinstalled, it might take quite a while for it to install. And then once all the Android apps are installed, you probably want to open up each of them. So if you click on the app launcher, you could just go through and click on each one of them because most of them will probably give you a sign in screen or something for you to sign back into your account. Unfortunately, some of them you might just have to start from scratch with some apps, but for the ones you can sign back into, you'll want to sign back into, or you could just wait until you happen to open that app and then sign back in for each app as you go, but you might want to do it now. But really the biggest thing you'll need to do is sort out the files in the files app. So while we're in the app launcher here, if you click on the files app to open up the files app, as you'll see, it'll open up in the my files folder, but there will no longer be any files in here. And it'll show you a few tips, but you can just click dismiss to dismiss those because you probably already know how to work the Chrome OS files app. But if you click on Google Drive in this menu down the side of the screen here, you'll see all the files that you had in Google Drive before are now here already because they were all saved on the cloud in Google Drive. So they will all just reappear for you here, but any files that were in my files will not be here. But hopefully you watched Timmy's other video and you backed up all of those files somewhere else before you power washed your Chromebook. So if you have backed them up somewhere else, they should either be on a flash drive or external hard drive, or maybe even an SD card, or they'll be on Google Drive. So if you backed up the files to a flash drive or another physical device like that, Timmy has a different video about how to use a flash drive on a Chromebook. So you can go and watch that video and Timmy will show you how you can move files on and off your flash drive. So then you can plug in your flash drive into the Chromebook and retrieve all of those files. Or if you backed up all of your files from my files into Google Drive, you don't actually have to bring them back onto my files. You could just leave them all in Google Drive and access them all here whenever you want them, if you want. But if you want everything to be back where it was and you want all of the files you had in the my files section to be back there in the my files section, You'll just need to come in here to Google Drive and then select all the files that you want to move back. So you'll just click on the icon next to each file you want to select. So we'll go with that one and that one and that one and this one and this one. And Timmy probably won't do them all, but you could go through and select them all if you were really doing this. Or if you, you might have put them all in a specific folder somewhere here. And if you did that, that would be really easy. But once you've selected all the files you want to re-download and bring back to your My Files folder, you'll just need to click and drag all those files back into My Files. 
and drop them in there. And now when you click on My Files, it can take a little bit of time for them to all re-download to your Chromebook. So as you can see, you see the progress here. It thinks it'll take another 20 seconds. So we just wait for that to finish so that all the files will be back here. And now it's done. And now, as you can see, all of these files that were in Google Drive are now back in the My Files section. So whether you restored your files from Google Drive or a flash drive or something, all of your files will now be restored. But some of your files might not actually be normal files. They might be backup files from a Chrome extension or Chrome app. If you remember from the first video where Timmy showed you how to back everything up, Timmy created backups from the Session Buddy Chrome extension and the Sticky Notes Chrome app so that Timmy can now restore all of that data into the Session Buddy Chrome extension and Sticky Notes Chrome app. You might not have done anything like this because a lot of extensions and apps these days will back up your data to the cloud automatically and then automatically restore it for you if they even have any data at all. But if you have a Chrome extension or a Chrome app that requires you to manually create a backup in order for you to keep that data and restore it after it's power washed, and you did in fact create a backup before you power washed your Chromebook, you just need to find wherever you saved that backup file. Maybe it was on Google Drive or a flash drive or something, or maybe you've just moved it into the My Files section, as Timmy has here. And now you'll need to go into the settings of each extension and app you have backup files from and restore that data. So hopefully there's not too many extensions or apps you need to do this for. But for the few you need to do it for, you need to open up Chrome if it's a Chrome extension and then click on the extension to open it up. And hopefully you remember where the settings menu is somewhere that you can bring up the settings. And now in the settings menu, you'll need to look for a setting that says import or restore backup or something like that. As you can see, Session Buddy has an import option and then you'll just need to click on that option and it'll depend on what sort of extension or app it is. It might pop up with a files app window now, but in this case, Timmy has to click select file and then you need to select the backup file you created. So hopefully you have it somewhere in Google Drive or my files. If it was on a flash drive or something, you need to have copied it across to the My Files folder first. But as you can see, Timmy has the backup file here in My Files. So then you can just double click on it to select it. And as you can see, it found some data in that backup file. So we'll go ahead and click save or import or proceed or whatever it says in your extension. And now all of the data should be restored. So now we've done that for Session Buddy. We need to go ahead and do that for the Sticky Notes Chrome app as well. So we'll come down here and find the Sticky Notes app. Here it is here. It's been automatically reinstalled for us. So now we can just click on Settings and scroll down and Import Notes from File and double click on the backup file. And now if we close this window, all of the sticky notes will be there. Again, this very much varies depending on the Chrome app or Chrome extension you have. If you need any help and you can't figure it out, you might just have to Google something like how to restore backed up data in this extension. And then you might find a tutorial that shows you exactly how to do it in exactly that extension, but hopefully you can figure it out and get that restored. And another backup file you might have in Google Drive or on a flash drive or something is a Linux backup file. If you've never had Linux apps on your Chromebook 
or you don't even know what that means, you won't need to worry about this. But if you used to have Linux apps on your Chromebook before you power washed it, and you created a backup of those Linux apps so that you can easily restore it, to restore that backup, you need to open up the settings on your Chromebook. So we'll click on the circle in the bottom left hand corner to bring up the app launcher and then just scroll down until you find the settings app and click on that to open it up. And now you need to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the settings app and then click on the advanced button here and then scroll down all the way to the bottom again. And now you'll need to re-enable the Linux app functionality on your Chromebook before you can restore the backup file. So there would be a turn on button here and we'll just need to click turn on and it'll walk you through the steps of sort of reinstalling Linux. So we'll click next. It'll ask you to choose a username if you remember what your old one was, it's probably best to go with that. And it automatically just puts in your Google username. So that'll probably do anyway. And you can choose the size if you want. To me usually just leaves it set to 10 gigabytes. And then you can go ahead and click install. And now it might take a few minutes for it to install Linux before we can restore the backup file. So we just need to wait for that to finish. And once it finishes installing Linux, the Linux terminal will actually appear over here, but you don't need to do anything in the Linux terminal right now. So you can just close that. But now in the settings app, you'll see the turn on button has turned into an arrow like it would have been before you power washed your Chromebook. So, you can go ahead and click that. And now you'll be in the Linux app settings. So you can just click backup and restore and then restore and restore. And now it will pop up with this files app window here. So you'll just need to double click on that Linux backup that you made before you power washed your Chromebook. So if it was on a flash drive or something, you'll need to have moved it off the flash drive into the My Files section or something. Or if it's in Google Drive, you can click on Google Drive and select it in there right now. But Timmy has it in the My Files folder, as you can see here. And it will only show you Linux backup files, so it should be pretty easy to find. It'll probably be the only one there. So you just need to double click on that file to select it. And now, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner here, it says in restoring Linux apps and files. So this can take quite a while, especially if you've got a lot of apps or if your Chromebook's not very fast. So you just need to wait for this to finish. But once it finishes, you'll have all of your Linux apps and all of your Linux files all back just the way they were before you power washed your Chromebook. So we just wait for this to finish. And now it says restore complete. So now all of your Linux apps and Linux files are all back just the way they were. So that's all you have to do with Linux apps. And the last thing you might need to do is if you had multiple user accounts on your Chromebook, all of those other user accounts will have been removed as well. So if you had any other users on your Chromebook before, you'll just need to come in here and click sign out to sign out of this account because we're done with this account for now. And then on the sign in screen, you'll need to come down to the bottom here and click the add person button. And now you're basically back at the start of this video again you'll have to choose whether you want to set up you or a child. So if it's you, leave it set to you, and then you'll click next, and then you'll sign in with the Google account that you use for that other user account. And you'll pretty much just need to go through the entire setup process again, 
and restore all the files and all the apps and everything like that for that other user account if you had any other user accounts. So if you need to do this, you might actually want to just skip back to the start of this video and watch it again and do the entire process again with this account. But once you've finished restoring the other accounts, if you had any other accounts to restore, you're done. Congratulations. You have now backed up, power washed and restored everything on your Chromebook. And congratulations for watching through three fairly long videos. But that's all there is to this video series. So hopefully you found it helpful and Tim, we'll see you in the next one.